Hi, welcome to another Harry's Hobbies video. And as you can see in the pictures that I've got up here right now, the workbench is all ready to go. And it's uh, even got the must have coffee cup at the ready. And this is because this will be the first in a series of videos for the Foss Scale Models Diorama build that I'll be working on. This is the box opening video as it has just arrived. So I'll be opening this up right from the boxes that came in the mail. So I hope you enjoy the video and that's what's next. Thanks for watching and here we go. So here we have the package as it arrived. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. So you guys are gonna get to see it the same way I do. And let me start, of course, with the X-Acto knife. And this is my first kit from Foss Scale Models. So I'm not sure what to expect, how it's packaged or anything like that. So we'll get to check this out at the same time. Okay, so the first one out of the box is going to be the Marshalls boat and gas dock and here that's it right here and we're going to open this up you know I want I don't want to mess this up right here so I'm going to open it from the bottom and we're going to take out the instructions first and see how these look. Oh, and inside the instructions are some uh, signage paper decals that will go on the model as we go along. And we get the directions open up here. We'll take a look and see how these look. Very nice and clear. So far, some good pictures. These are the same that are on their website, it looks like. Oh, and some good dock and building outlines. This will be a good model to build, it looks like. So let's take a look at the actual parts themselves. And naturally, I don't get that put back like it was supposed to. It seems like once anything is out of the box, it never goes back in the same, even if it comes in a bag. All righty, let's take a look at the pieces and parts. There's some nice basswood that's color-coded, which I'm sure that's in the instructions as well. Here's a nice package of window. <coughs> Excuse me. The windows are in here. There's a fuel pump. A stack for the roof of the building. Some miscellaneous barrels. Windows. That looks like a cabinet, a cast metal cabinet. And then come down to the to the heart of the kit. Oh, and there's a nice tools and tips card. And there's the clear sheet for the windows. And that's pretty nice to have. Some good suggestions. Some nice laser cut parts. And that could be the floor. Possibly some more. Here's, the, here's some of the outer walls. And it appears to be a couple of the boats. I'm going to have to assemble those, which won't be a problem. Oh, some nice. This is very nice roofing material. Very, very nice. That'll look good stained up to look like a metal roof. And here we have some of the larger outer walls. Yeah, this is going to be a very nice kit to 
put together. And I noticed that there are only two dowels for the pilings, but that, that should work out okay. If not, I can always stop by a hobby place and pick some up. And we'll put this all back in this package. And then next up, they offered a, a free model with the purchase. And this is the Weaver's Gas kit that was included as part of the free one. And we'll check this one out as well. And we'll take out the introductory paperwork. I want to make sure this is being a relatively simple and fast one to build. The instructions aren't as detailed. It does have some nice paper decals. And we'll check out some good paper for a tar paper roof. An explanation card with... Uh, why they give the free kits away. I'll read through that. And that's a that's a very, very nice uh let me get that out of here. That's a nice, nice laser cut gas sign. But as I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to build this as a gas station or a workshop, so that gas sign might be used on the, on the other model. And as we put it back in the bag, one of the outer walls. And I'm not sure what that is. Could be the flooring. Oh, that's the sidewall. That'll, that'll be good. Possibly some more sidewalls. Braces. Again, these are color coded like on the other model. And very nice windows. This will be fun because, as most of you know, I don't usually use the clear plastic that comes with the kits. And I'll go over how to how I do that. And here's another one of the outer walls. Now we're going to put all this back in the package. Because I'm going to start with I'll be starting with the other model. So this one will get safely put back in the box. And then we're going to get this other one out. The Marshall's Boat and Gas. And I'll be about ready to get started on this. So, I hope you enjoyed this box opening. And um, stay tuned. There will be more to come. Again, thanks for watching.